Oh my gosh, guys. Me and Josh is both freaking out. <laughs> I'll record yours first. I just want to show it real quick. Uh, yeah, we've been digging, I don't know, about an hour and a half. I got a little nice cobalt bromo caffeine. I popped out earlier. Little uh, saucer lid and a saucer. And then I've just been cleaning out my hole down in here. You can see. Opening it up, working my way around. And then right there, guys. Oh, man. Salt glaze crock in the hole, baby. And look right here in the corner. There's just a hint of blue peeking out. So, oh, it's going to have some paint on it. And I'm freaking out. But I'm going to let the suspense kill me for right now because Joshua's got a crock in the hole, too. What is up, guys? Creek Diggers coming to you. Friday afternoon, I'm out here with my buddy Josh, and we are going to spend the day out at a local bottle dump and seeing what kind of treasures we can get. Right there is my hole that I left off uh, last weekend when I pulled that incredible Green Kaiser Pharmacy Grusendorf and Scott Druggist bottle. All kinds of really cool stuff came out that day. Um, basically, let me show you what's going to be spending the remainder of the day. Probably about six, seven hours digging right down in here. I'll take you real quick right there. You can see the spot where the green druggist came from about seven foot mark. What I'm going to do today, because I haven't really tunneled all that much. You can see I'm only just a couple feet under. I'm going to clean all this out for the first part of the day. I'm probably gonna take this piece completely out so I have a little wider area to work in. And uh, then I'm just gonna slowly work that real nice layer right there where that druggist came from. I'm just off the bottom. I'm gonna get back to the bottom and I'm just gonna tunnel my way back under there. And then over here to the right a little bit, you can see all this is still opened up from a couple months ago actually. I was using it as my throw area. I might continue to do that a little bit, but I don't want to fill that in because that's the original back to the undug stuff. And eventually I'm going to knock all this down above me and keep working back. There's a stone wall back in there somewhere I'm looking for. But yeah, we're just going to keep on working at it, guys, and see what we can get into. Stay tuned for the action. Let's get it. All right, guys, first bottle out of the hole, first keeper anyway. Josh just popped it out. Got an F. Hoyt & Company perfumer out of Philadelphia. Nice blown and mold tooled top. Heck yeah, 1905, 1910 era. Good job, brother man. Thank you. All right, guys, we're going to keep on going at it. I'm still cleaning my hole out. Get ready to empty a bucket right there. Nothing for me just yet, but... Should be real, real soon. See you back. Oh my gosh, guys. Me and Josh is both freaking out. I'll record yours first. I just want to show it real quick. Uh, yeah, we've been digging, I don't know, about an hour and a half. I got a little nice cobalt bromo caffeine. I popped out earlier. Little uh, saucer lid and a saucer. And then I've just been cleaning out my hole down in here. You can see. Open it up, working my way around. And then right there, guys. Oh, man. Salt glaze crock in the hole, baby. And look right here in the corner. There's just a hint of blue peeking out. So, oh, it's going to have some paint on it. And I'm freaking out. But I'm going to let the suspense kill me for right now. Because Joshua's got a crock in the hole, too. So let's go over and check that out. Oh man, double crocos. Yeah, Josh has got a heck of a cave going on back in here. <laughs> here we go. Oh, that's a big one. Big old whiskey jug. Nice, man. Look at that, guys. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Here it comes. Oh, Does it got the handle? Yep. Nice, brother. That's your first one, isn't it? No. Oh, of, it this, of this type and 
and gallon this gallon isn't it whoa that's beautiful brother man looks like in real good shape too i don't see any cracks uh uh nice josh check that out guys big old one gallon crock two-toned yeah that thing is sweet cork still, still has the cork in it uh -oh. Something still a little in bit it. of shine in there for you <laughs> <laughs> yeah didn't you say you had a whiskey or something too that popped out yeah look, over here a tumbler that's pretty man that looks kind of early too it's thin yeah it looks like real thin glass i guarantee you that'll glow like a sieve in the black light that's pretty a little flake yeah i'd hang on to that that's an earlier yeah. definitely an earlier little tumbler so Where's the whiskey at? No, a med of some Oh, a med up the top? I can barely see you sticking out. What's that little That was beside it. Is it amber? An amber thing, isn't it? Yeah. Let's say A34. Yeah. Bingo! <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is, brother. That has liquid in it. Yeah, it? it does. You gotta drink all of them, you know it. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some kind of little... Dang, that's wild looking. I don't know what's in that, brother. Look at that, guys. Some kind of weird liquid in that one. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. And you still working on med up in there? <laughs> there it is. Um, mm, slicko with it. Slick. Number. Yeah, with the measurements on it. Cool, man. All right, well, guys, I'm going to get a picture of uh, Josh with his big jug. <laughs> and then we're going to go over to my hole and see what the heck I got showing in there, <laughs> yeah. man. All right, we'll see you right back. All right, we're getting ready to go down and to this exciting hole where the green druggist came from just a couple days ago. And uh, now I got a salt glazed rock in the hole. Y'all, she's going to record us. I'm going to throw my gloves on, grab my pick. And we're going to go down there and see what it is, guys. Oh, man. That little blue stripe's got me excited. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Yeah, I got me a bedroom down in here. Look at that thing. Oh man, that's pretty. That is pretty right there. Hopefully it's full. I haven't checked the other part of it yet, but it's looking good. You can see most of the back of it there, most of the front of it there. Top of it, broken. I'm just gonna dig right underneath of it till it's ready to roll out in my hand, so I don't pry on it or nothing in case it has any kind of pressure on it somewhere. I'm gonna break it, crack it, or nothing. It's looking good though. I think it's all there, Josh. Oh, man, guys. <laughs> this is barely hanging on for dear life. <laughs> There's some tough, tough rust right there underneath of it. That layer right there is brutal to get through, buddy. It's real hard. Oh, we can see what's on that thing. I know. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Oh, what is that? Oh my There's god. There's stuff all over it. 
<laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. I want to be real careful with it. I'm going to set the light down for a minute. Pick it up like I need to. It's full of, full of go-go. Get all that out of there. What does that say on it, man? Something West Virginia. Oh, I think. No. I think. I can't tell. Yeah. Oh, wow. Packer. Patty Town? Pattyton? Pattyton? Because it used to be called Patty Town. Did it? Back in the day. Did yeah. it really? Oh my god. Are you serious? Yep. It might be a Patty Town. Pat I have no idea, guys. Oh my That's gosh. <laughs> Whoo! It it does have oh, have no. some uh yeah it's it's got some it's some gray's flat crackling but my goodness wow that's incredible right that's there that's awesome sauce oh my gosh man oh, crap <laughs> that out, guys are you serious this is what Kaiser used to be called I'm pretty sure it used to be oh my my, my 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 that's incredible I'm, I'm, Pat, like P A D A? I thought it was Patty Town. I'm I can't not sure tell. what year, 1888 it's or. PA, it might be Palatine. Palatine. Palatine, West Virginia. I've dug a few of them, but it, it's it looks that different. That looks like that then, yeah. It looks different. This one looks different. I don't know. I'm going to have to do <laughs> some research on it. But yeah, guys, painted truck in the hole. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! See you back. <laughs> <laughs>
Duffy's above it. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Looks top. like some kind of a whiskey. And then you got soda right there. What if it's a what if it's a hutch? Uh, it's a crown top. Yeah. That's all right. That's it. Wagner it's bottling works. Wagner. Yeah. With the bigger. Yeah, that's I nice. Think. I think that's the earlier one. With the W on it, that blowing the mold, isn't it? I think the W ones are blowing the mold. You see that it? nice bubble there going yeah. on? Yeah. Take care, brother. Take you out of the hole for a second. Is that thing clear? No, it's machine made. Or it's, it uh. Aqua? Yeah, it's got an aqua tint to it. It's light aqua. Probably 1910, 1915. And then what else you working on? That broken one? This thing. What is that thing? I think it was a big whiskey bottle. What does it say? One, one quart. quart. Yeah, big whiskey bottle. Anything else ready? Oh, yeah, what's you got that thing? Oh, what's that? A little lamp or something? That's neat, Josh. <laughs> or a candy container. Is that what it is? I don't, I don't know. Is that one, one in feeder? Oh, is Another that what that is, man? Things again? Oh, those are neat. That's exactly what that is, man. That one looks in real good shape, too. I can't see. The other one has yep, a crack Seed on it. Filter Company. New York, and then over here on this side, number eight, patented. Seed filter. Number eight, patent. Seed filter company. Yeah, that's awesome, Josh. That's really cool, brother. That one looks like it's a mess. That one's in real good shape for you. Yeah. Nice, nice pool. And then you got another something amber something right there. Here. Yeah, nice little pocket. What's that one? German. Big German. German. Yeah. Big German beer bottle. Nice man, heck yeah. He's tearing it up. Five five bottle pocket. Couple flask, a soda, beer, and a seed little thing. What's that up there? Yeah. Oh. You got anything else ready? Something right there. And a piece of the sauce. Oh, you got something up top there. Yeah, that's pretty big. What is that? That, that thing is broken. I think that big one is too. He really had a crack going through the middle of it. Yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah. He's definitely in a trashy, <laughs> real trashy layer for sure. What was that thing? Oh, it was embossed too. Embossed. Mother chicken. Strat Stratford Springs. Stratford Springs, yeah, Wheeling, West Virginia. Been a while since I've seen one of those come out of the hole, though. Yeah, that one's got a lot of pressure damage. Nice bottles, though. They got that cool slant embossing. Check that out, guys. Nice slant cursive. Stratford Springs. Wheeling, West Virginia. That's cool. Josh is tearing it up over here. Something else already? Dang. <laughs> hey. Into the big pocket <laughs> bottles there. That looks like maybe another soda. No, uh, some kind of a. Oh, that's a cool drinking glass. Maybe a jelly jar. The bottom's trickier. I think there's soda or something. I know they do trick you a lot. They'd make a real nice shot glass. Double shotter. Jeez, you do got the bottles going on, don't you? I haven't seen any pockets like that on my side just yet. Little tiny welches. Is 
just think that's fluid ounces. I can't, yeah. I can't see. Yeah, just a fluid ounces on it. it. Says two and a half. Two and a half fluid ounces. A little tiny extract. What's that? Another little Wonder. drinking glass. Broken. All right, well. Holler back at me if you get something good, man. All right, yeah. We'll get back over All here. All right, guys. Before we go down in here, look at that massive, massive pipe I just pulled out of the ground right there. Big old monster chunk right there. Working right down under here. You can see another big, big pipe running right through there. With another one right on top of it right there. I was just working around them. And look right there, guys. What in the world is that? Right there. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's a little tiny mug, like a Christmas, like a Christmas crock or a beer stein or what exactly it is, but I'm gonna hand the camera to my buddy Josh who's right here behind me. And uh yeah, I'm gonna put the light right on that thing. And hopefully we can get a decent video here. I haven't got just a piece of it uncovered, so it may be that just that piece in there. I don't know yet, but it's beautiful. It's definitely worth trying to get a video on. And it was underneath those other, that big giant piece I just pulled out was right here. It went around the circle, and, and I guess it connected to that maybe. I'm not sure, but that's like right underneath of them. Gotta be careful because this one could have a handle on it. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's like right wedged right in between those two. If it did survive, it's gonna be a miracle. There's like boards and stuff down in there. It's crazy. Can you see it pretty good, Josh? Yeah. Let me wipe this off. See, it's going back in there. So far, so far it's looking good. I have to keep working the side of it, I guess. There's something else right there in the bottle. Right there, it's broke, I think. No, that was a BF Stinson. Had a buffalo stove polish. dig that way because I hit that other pipe right there and then that pipe's right there mm -hmm. I don't know man I don't know if it's gonna make it or not that's the bottom of it see that yeah that's the bottom of it whatever it is I think it is like a beer stein it does look like it's pretty damaged though oh shit <sighs> I was hoping the whole piece was going to come out, but I just completely ripped it off. And then there's wood underneath that. Like roots and stuff. Man, I don't know. I don't know if the, this thing's going to be survived or not. But golly, it's got glass all around it.
wiggling. Yeah, here it comes. Oh, this handle. Oh, that's exactly what it is. It's a beer style. That gummit. Number 12 on the base. Has it got any kind of an image on it, I wonder? I don't think it does. Oh, man. Hang on. They wasn't going to bless me again, guys, after that painted croc. They was like, nah, you ain't getting this one. <laughs> That's how it goes, man. That would have been awesome, though. All right, see you back. All right, take you down to my hole. I've been working around all these pipes. I finally got that large, larger one out of there. Look at this little teeny tiny amber bottle that popped out. I thought for sure this was going to have some kind of embossing on it, but nah. Little blown in mold. Whitehall Tatum Company, it says on the bottom of it. Little teeny tiny thing. Popped out a real nice whiskey bottle right there. Blown in mold whiskey. It's got a neat little uh, embossing for the size of it right there you can see it's got 30 fluid ounces it's got the 30 inside of like some kind of a little slug almost three-piece mold whiskey bottle that's nice and then down in there you can see where my light is let's go down in here guys got something uh possibly really really good you see that right there way up under here you got a square in the hole, baby. I don't know exactly what it is yet. Um, we're going to try to get it live right now. I think it should be about ready to move out of here. I can feel embossing on it, too. Come on, baby. Man, it's tight in there. Whew. Whew. Pretty dark in here, too, guys. I apologize. I'm working right on the bottom. Man, it's not quite ready yet. I'm going to have to work on it a little bit more. I'll see you right back when as soon as it's ready to pull. Trying to break them off. All right, guys, I'm back with you. Not quite ready yet, but I'm going to have Josh record me anyway because I did feel embossing on this square, and it's clear. It's not amber, so... I don't know if it's a bitters or if it's a case gin or if it's a whiskey or what exactly it is. But I definitely felt embossing on the side of it. So I'm just going to keep working down the side of it. Way back in here. Yeah, way back in here. Right off the bottom too. I mean, I'm right on the bottom. There's a broken soda underneath of it. Man. I wonder what it is. And clear like it. And hopefully it's full. Hopefully that root didn't didn't uh, break it and it's just right underneath of it. Can you see it? Is my head in the way? Now I can definitely. Okay. Yeah, just try to stay on it. I'm working down the side of it still. It feels full. I don't want to get too close to it. Let me see if it's ready yet. Yep, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, the top's not off of it. No. Oh, oh it was a something dry gin. Bart. CL Bart dry gin. I wonder what that was from. Oh man, I ain't seen that one before, guys. Uh -uh. Or E.L. Bart. E.L. Bart Dry Gin. And it's got a B on the base of it. It does say something around the outside. Maybe a patent date. I can't make out. Oh, that's a shame, though. The whole top piece is broke off of it. E.L. Bart Dry Gin. Comment down below if you guys have any clue what that is. Maybe American. I'm not sure. 
Ah, see you back. Oh, guys, talk about an absolute crier, but I'm still going to keep it. Look at this little guy. I seen the stopper sticking out first, and I was like, man, that looks kind of strange. Here's the stopper piece. Beautiful dark green. Oh, here's the bottle. Look at that thing. It's got some kind of drug company. Let's wipe it off. Oh, my God. Oh, my no. Wah, wah. <laughs> It says United Drug Company, Boston, USA, and it's got the Red Cross emblem on it. Oh, man. Look at that. It's got a big old piece knocked out of it. Oh, my gosh. Still going to hang on to that, though. That is absolutely insaneness. Yeah, there you go. Shine your light. Dang, it won't even penetrate it. It's so dark. It's either real dark, dark green, or it's full of dirt. I think it's all rusty man uh what an absolute crier that's really cool though united drug company anything on the other side boston usa i don't think nothing on the other side There's a label. yeah it would have been a label on this side and then i don't think there's anything on the bottom either but yeah with the with the stopper what a crier will display nice though the whole front of it's there you can't even really tell until you turn it. Dang, man. All right, a couple more pulls, guys, and we're probably going to call it a day. See you back. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Got into some nice stuff. Didn't record a whole, whole lot, but the best ones, definitely. So, top find of the day, definitely the Palatine, West Virginia. Salt glazed crock right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, nice three-piece mold whiskey. Ended up with two sodas. I got a Wagner's Bottling Works and a Kaiser Bottling Works, both from Kaiser. That incredible United Drug Company in emerald green with the stopper. Beautiful cobalt bromo caffeine. Little cold cream. Two My Wife salad dressings. A smaller Curtis Brothers. A little tonic. Little shoe fly flask. Little teeny tiny Whitehall Tatum. Square Inkwell Pompeii massage cream. Two little perfume bottles. The L. Bart Dry Gin and a real nice cornflower blue Phillips Milk of Magnesia. That's my take today, guys. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's check out Josh's take. That green medical is nice. I know. That green medical is insane. Yeah, that much. You got a nice one gallon jug. That broken Coke. Broken straight side Coca-Cola. That is a crier. That cool seed filter company. That's cool. You got a Wagner, a Beaufont, a Herring and Carpenter from Cumberland. A nice uh, sharpened dome chemical. Oh, you got another crop too. That was from yesterday. Oh, okay. Some kind of big, big chemical bottle. And then two little tinies. Little Hoyts. That other one is slick? It is, it's a little slick. Oh, okay, and then that little quarter pint whiskey flask. Heck yeah. Not a bad day of digging at all. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Well, we're going to pack up, have a little celebration, and uh, get out of here.
Check it out, guys. Down here under my house for the first time ever with the metal detector. And I just popped out a coin, I believe. I, it may be a token, too, to the brothel that used to be here or the saloon. Did a little bit of research talking to some people that know about this place. And uh, apparently it used to be called the Douglas Saloon. So anything, you know, that says Douglas Saloon on it would be a once-in-a-lifetime find. Nothing, there's no documentations known about the Douglas Saloon. So that's kind of cool. I just got under here. I'm back here. I'll show you. I'm back here at this uh, foundation that they put up. Just working right along the edge. Right behind here is a porch. Right above me pretty much is the porch where they came into the saloon. And I'm just running my Nocta. It is dark under here, so you can't see real well. But I did want to show you that. I'll definitely try to get some ID off of it. Another weird thing you can see here. I'm running on deep mode. Now when I run the uh, coin over, look here. This is what we're getting. 17, solid 17, 19. So I don't know what that could be, but that is kind of cool. Heck yeah. We're going to keep on working at it and see what else we can find. See you back. All right, guys, still down underneath of my house, metal detecting, tons and tons of iron signals coming up. I just hit this nice uh, high 50s, low 60s signal, and you can see right there in the plug, I'm pretty sure I have a debuckle right here. Let's see if we can get a decent video for you. Right there. Let me get the light set up a little better here. Yeah, nice little D buckle. Check it out. That's sweet. Nice D buckle under the house. Probably somebody wore that coming into the saloon one day. That's pretty neat. Well, we're going to keep on trying to find some signals, and if not, then uh, probably going to dig a hole and see about finding some bottles. All right, guys. See you back. All right, guys, I'm still down here under my basement, or under my house, I mean, working right along this foundation wall. Obviously, it ain't very old, but it is up against the original foundation. I got into this pocket of uh, bottle caps, you can see. I thought, I thought I had a cache of coins, but nah. I've been working, I've been working, and then I hit a nice, solid signal, and right there, you can see, I do got a coin in the hole. Let's see what it rings up real quick. There's spiders all over the place down here and all that good stuff, but check this out. Nice high tones. Let's go ahead and check this bad boy out in, in the light here. If I can get the focus for us. There we go. What we got here? Guys, let me get an ID real quick and I'll see you right back. Pretty sure we got our first silver from under the house right there, guys. Can't quite get a date off of it just yet, but you can definitely see the one dime poking through there. Yeah, we got some silver. Let me go get this cleaned off and I'll see you right back.
So I'm just working real slow where I found that uh, 1907 silver dime. Go over here to the window so you can see a little bit. I just popped out this silver plated fork. I did clean it off a little bit. And right there it says fashion silver plate. You can see. But that's a cool fork. Definitely hang on to that. Probably was used in the saloon upstairs at one time in the early 1900s. So that's cool. Cool little relic find. All right, guys, we're just going to keep working real slow. See you back.